Alright, what's going on guys? Sorry for the crappy camera set up here. I might have to start another way of shooting some of these video games here. But this will do for now. Anyways, I want to do this review on the uh, Lone Ranger. And it's going to show you guys this game. Um, and it's made by Konami. And there's a lot of different uh, gameplay styles in this game. It starts off with an overhead map view. You're going to some towns. Then uh, it, it goes into like a first, like an overhead bird's eye view. Um, and then you got this type of level. You got a horse riding level, which is basically like a left and right, you know, horse riding uh, level, uh, shooting um, enemies coming at you. You got kind of like a, a 2D level where you're kind of, it's not one of those annoying ones like in, uh, in um, the Mafak conspiracy or anything, it's pretty much straightforward, but it's just like a 2D dungeon level, and then you actually have like a, like a space area type level going back and forward and back and left and right, where you gotta look all those directions and shoot guys coming at you on horses and stuff, so there's like six different gameplay modes, Konami really did it with this game, and I don't know why I passed this, I missed this game my whole life. Uh, this, you know, I'm really happy to find this game, and uh, I've been, literally been playing it for three or four days. So, here I am, this is level six, this is the third part of level six, um, and as you can see, this is one of the more Castlevania-like uh, levels. You jump kind of like Simon, except, it's a, except you can go a little bit, or not a lot. There's not a lot of the glitches in this game as there is in Castlevania 2. This game is kind of set up like Castlevania 2, as it was obviously produced a year or so afterwards, or maybe the same year, but, uh, so yeah, it was probably a year or two afterwards. Um, the gameplay when you're going around to the towns, you gotta go into different, you gotta go into all the houses and the saloons until you talk to a specific person, then that'll progress the game. It's not too difficult to figure out. Like, you go in one bar, talk to somebody, they'll send you to the mining office, and you'll go to another place. So there's a lot of different things going on, and, uh, you know, there's no big secrets or anything. The only, there are a couple annoying things, and the first annoying thing is that when you do, you do have to do all that stuff each level. Once you get to a new level, you gotta do a bunch of stuff like talking, walking around before you unlock the actual stage like this. If you die in this stage, you go back to the very beginning of that chapter. Um, in each chapter, you get a password so you can save your progress in that sense, but there are no lives. I mean, your, your health bar is your health bar, so. Let's show you a little bit of the Game Boy here. If I don't make it through here, we'll see a little more of a, what, what going into the towns are like. But this is definitely the coolest part, music and all. Guys are getting tougher, they're fighting ninjas now and stuff. Now, I'll tell you what, if this game would have came out two or three years later, it could have they could have had uh it could have been Walker Texas Ranger. Because uh I mean, it's just <laughs> this is what it reminded me of when I put it in. I started running around. Uh, as you can see, I got silver bullets down there. Now I can use, I got ten sticks of dynamite I can throw. I can, I can run around and use my fists. So you can really challenge your stuff in this game, yourself in this game. You got regular bullets. Like I said, you got silver bullets. They do twice the amount of damage. But I mean, you can, you can go around just punching everybody. Some people when you're, oh, this looks bad. Some people when you're fighting them, like guys with, uh, with guns, they'll run out of bullets eventually. And uh, when guys are down a bullet, they'll crouch down to reload, so you can always count to six when the guy's got a gun, usually. If you put on the turbo mode on the jump button, you can kind of cruise along jumping. As in this game, uh, jumping is very fast. Like, jumping will really get you around fast. Unlike any other game I've ever played. It's gonna be tough, but the good thing is that guy will probably give me an extra life if I can. Yeah, see, some of those guys will drop parts like that, which are 
It might be one or so per level. Holy jeez. What the heck was that? <laughs> Probably could have gone around there, some different paths. But look, these big boss, big door used to be the boss. Sometimes if you just unload on the enemies, you kill them right away, but uh, usually you get to an enemy, see it, live long enough to see their pattern of attack, and then hopefully not waste your time next time getting there. So here's what the overworld map looks like, and I've been traveling around for a while. I get off on a train and go down to another town. And there's the overworld map. Well, the town map. You can hold down the A button and hold your position so you can look at different angles and you can tag people from different angles. Which helps when you're trying to hit an angle so going forward you can actually hold your position. Then you can be a real tough guy and not use bullets in town. You kind of get the advantage if you hit him at an angle. Like here, for example, I would go into this girl's house first. She's not there. And as I leave, my friend, Kimosabi, or whatever his name is, he always pops up helping me. We're gonna note. There's other places to go. You go into these places, the townsfolk will say something to you. There's the doctor, you can go to the doctor to heal up. There's the gun shop, load up on your guns. <clears throat> Buy some dynamite. Train station takes you from town to town. I really haven't found a use for it yet. Maybe later on in the last couple levels you might have to go back or something. So from Clara's house, I would travel north to Pike's Peak to find an informant at a bar. Let's see, these guys are throwing knives, so here I'm gonna... This person here, and this will keep unlocking the level. Yeah, this is a really cool game, and uh, there's a lot of different things going on in it. You could, when you start off, I mean, the game's always changing, so it's not just this running around. I mean, when you start off, there'll be enemies on the world map you might run into, have to go into an overhead move, mode and fight them. Uh, and this game doesn't sell for much. I mean, it always sells for around 10 bucks or so. But I will say now that this is definitely a good game to find and put in your collection. Especially if you like the Castlevania style games or you like Konami games. The bullet, it's kind of like a Contra and Konami. You know, another kind of game. And if you were to put all those games together and <laughs> come up with this. Now, you know, I might have played this once as a kid. Like, I, while I've been playing, I've been having flashbacks and stuff. So I might have played it as a kid. So. So here we are, he tells me where the mine is, and then I'll end up going to the mine, and he'll start a level over, so. Alright guys, we'll go check that game out, and uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.